if you worked a development job for over 10 years, how many different projects and experiences do you think you'd have? Well, here are a few of mine. I worked on a comment system for the Guardian newspaper. I built back-end APIs for Facebook games. I built the rendering technology for the BBC News website. I've worked over 10 different jobs and unfortunately there's one thing that I never found in all my time working in the development nine to five and that was a true sense of meaning in the work that I was doing. And what I mean by that is I never felt fully invested in the projects that I worked on. I was never 100% committed to seeing those projects succeed. And the reason for that is actually pretty simple. It's because when you work a nine to five, you're Unless the company goes bust, you're kind of guaranteed a monthly paycheck. And yes, you need to do good work, but ultimately, if the project is incredibly successful, you're not going to see any of the benefit of that. And you also might be working on a project that could take years to deliver. You might not be there by the time that that project is launched. And... I mean, I was working on back-end systems for quite a lot of it using Java. And you're just one part of the, the machine. You're just a, a cog in the machine, to use <laughs> that overused term. You work in a team and you might be building back-end APIs and there's another team with front-end developers who might be calling those APIs. And then also you've got, you know, the Q, QA quality analysts to make sure that your code works properly. And then you've got business analysts and project managers to make sure that you have features planned out so that you know exactly what code you need to write. And you just need to turn the requirements into working software. And all of that kind of takes away a lot of the responsibility for developers working in a job. And while that's great, because it takes away some of the pressure, it's not all on you. In my experience, it means that you don't have the same sense of meaning that you might get if you were fully responsible for that project. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I managed to find that in the four years since I quit my job by really building my own projects to find a greater sense of meaning. So I don't know whether you have had a similar experience to me, but I've been jumping from job to job for quite a while now, always thinking that you know, if I can just jump to the next job, I can find that perfect work that I hadn't quite found in my current job. And, and it's going to invigorate me and make me truly excited for the project. And while I have genuinely enjoyed working on some of the projects, quite often it's been for the technical side. It's because I want to learn the technology or I want to speed up the build process or I want to make the deployment to production better. I've never been truly invested in the product or on the product. Like I've worked on some pretty well known websites like the BBC News or or Sky News or Waitrose 
online shopping. And I guess I was never fully invested in the product because it wasn't like, it wasn't mine. It wasn't my full responsibility. And I've also worked on jobs where like, I just found the product boring. Like the last job I worked on was a product which was a governance risk and compliance software, which yeah, you have to be strategic in a way to make sure you don't pick a job that, uh, you know, you've, you've got no interest at all in the product. But in my experience, even when the product is kind of cool, like maybe a Facebook game is kind of cool to work on, I was never fully invested until I did what I did after I quit my job, which was basically to begin building my own projects. And this has been the best way to find that sense of meaning that I found. And here are some examples of what I've done. Like the first project I created was uh, a course for Java developers to learn about some of the technologies I was working on at the time. First a free course and then a paid course and then an ebook. And each of these was a small project that gave me a taste of what it's like to take full responsibility and to work on something and see it appear before your eyes as something that you've created on your own. And here's another example that I think you're going to find pretty relatable, which I, I did next, which is basically to build your own software projects to use the skills that you already have in development, to use those to solve a problem that you want to solve, whether that's something that's frustrating you, something that's frustrating other people, to build software to automate that problem away. Like I built a, a tool to do something that I was doing manually which was comparing YouTube thumbnails side by side, I built a tool to help me do that. And that was incredibly satisfying to build it and now to have the solution that I use quite often. And yeah, you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone. And if you're a backend developer, you might have to learn front end. And if you're a front end developer, you might have to learn how to build back end APIs. You're gonna have to learn how to deploy things onto the internet and how to set up domains, how to set up a database, how to, this was one of the struggles I had, how to build a front-end user interface that doesn't look completely terrible and is, is kind of usable and uses CSS to use colors in a way that actually looks nice. And when you take full responsibility by starting your own project, you, you basically force yourself to learn all these new skills and it's, it's incredibly satisfying. And you can't get that in a job because a lot of companies, they have these really specialized roles that they're recruiting for. Even more specific than back end or front end, it's like a, a NoSQL database specialist or it's an API Java API developer, it's a React platform, React front-end developer, really specialist roles and you can't, unless you want to hop between roles, you can't just work on all these different things that easily like you can if you start your own projects and are forced to jump in the deep end and learn all these new skills and ultimately take responsibility for whether that project succeeds or fails. And the final example I'm going to give you is this channel right here on YouTube. This is a long-term project for me that I started by just publishing one video on a new YouTube channel and doing that again and again and again. Sharing the things that I 
initially was learning about in my job. Then sharing things about the, the software that I was building and the challenges that I was facing. And now sharing videos like this about some of my past experience and um, how, how I've managed to uh, change the way I, I see development. I'm just giving some examples. And uh, if actually YouTube is something you're interested in, then I've got a free course called Dev Creator Kickstart that's going to take you step by step to publishing your first video. But starting a new project is is a great way to get a sense of meaning that you can't find in a job. And don't take any of the examples I've given as, as gospel. They're just inspiration to get you started. And there are so many different things you could do. But the final thought I'm going to leave you with is if you are like me and you're looking for more meaning in your job, then don't expect it to be handed to you on a plate or to magically appear and if you've tried a few different jobs and you haven't found it yet then you've got to ask yourself whether if you keep hopping from job to job you're ever going to find what you're looking for or maybe it's time to try something new and I'm not saying you should do something drastic like quit your job and start something completely new you can start something on the side build SAS on the side, start teaching your skills on the side on a YouTube channel or create a course on Udemy or something like that. Just start building something new, start creating something that you want to see in the world and you're going to start to realise what it means to take full responsibility for something and not just to be a tiny cog in the machine that is most teams in development roles from my experience and I think that's going to open up a new exciting world for you where you're actually excited to work on projects you actually want to see them succeed and you know that it's down to your actions whether they're going to succeed or fail and that gives a, a new sense of meaning and purpose to the work you do and then things become pretty exciting so thanks a lot for watching check out the dev creator kickstart course down below if you want to start a youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video